Imagine biting into a tender piece of goat meat, simmered in a rich, spicy curry, bursting with authentic Jamaican flavors. This is the allure of Jamaican curry goat, a dish that's more than just a meal, it's a cultural experience. Marinated in a symphony of spices, this Caribbean delicacy is a testament to Jamaica's rich culinary heritage. The recipe has been passed down through generations, each adding their own twist, but all retaining that unique blend of flavors that can only be described as quintessentially Jamaican. Picture yourself in a rustic Jamaican kitchen, the air heavy with the aroma of simmering curry, the sizzle of browning meat, the soft hum of conversation. This is where our journey begins. Today, we're not just cooking, we're creating a masterpiece, a dish that embodies the spirit of Jamaica. So get ready to roll up your sleeves because we're about to unravel the magic of this Jamaican culinary masterpiece together. Now, feast your eyes on these vibrant ingredients, each one carrying a piece of Jamaica's culinary heritage. First off, we have our star player, the goat meat, tender and full of flavor. This is the canvas on which we'll paint our culinary masterpiece. Next, we have a medley of fresh vegetables. We're talking bell peppers in a riot of colors, fiery scotch bonnet peppers, onions and ripe tomatoes. Each brings a unique texture and flavor to our curry, creating a symphony of taste that sings on your palate. And let's not forget our aromatic spices. We have pimento, also known as allspice, the quintessential Jamaican spice that adds that distinctive kick. Then there's curry powder, a blend of turmeric, coriander, cumin, and other spices, which gives our curry its golden hue and enticing aroma. We also have thyme and garlic, two humble ingredients that pack a punch of flavor. And for an extra layer of richness, we'll be using coconut milk, which adds a creamy sweetness that balances the heat of the spices perfectly. Then we have our secret weapon, scotch bonnet pepper sauce. This is not for the faint of heart, but if you love a good kick, it's a must try. Last but not least, we have our sides, fluffy white rice and tender red peas, the perfect companions to our curry. With these ingredients, we're ready to embark on our Jamaican culinary journey. The secret to a flavorful Jamaican curry goat lies in the marination. Now let's dive right into it. We begin with our goat meat, cut into hearty chunks. Make sure to use meat with bone in, as bones add an extra layer of flavor. First, we're going to give our goat meat a good rinse with vinegar and water, a traditional technique that ensures it's clean and ready for marination. Once it's rinsed, pat it dry and set it aside. Next, we'll be making the marinade. The heart of this marinade, and indeed the dish itself, is the curry powder. We use a Jamaican curry powder blend, which has a unique and vibrant combination of spices. To the curry powder, add minced garlic, chopped scotch bonnet peppers, onions, thyme, allspice, and a pinch of salt and black pepper. Mix them together to form a paste. Now, let's get that goat meat marinated. Rub the paste into the goat meat, making sure each piece is well coated. This is where the magic happens. The meat starts absorbing the rich, spicy flavors of the marinade, setting the stage for a truly mouth-watering dish. Once the meat is marinated, cover it and let it rest. This is a crucial step. Marinating the meat overnight allows the flavors to fully penetrate the meat. But if you're short on time, a minimum of two hours should do the trick. While our meat is marinating, let's talk about slow cooking. Jamaican curry goat is traditionally slow cooked to tender perfection. This slow cooking allows the meat to soak up all the flavors and break down, resulting in tender melt-in-your-mouth pieces of goat meat. Remember, the key to this dish is patience. The longer you let the meat marinate and the slower you cook it, the better it will taste. This is not a dish to be rushed, it's a dish to be savored from the preparation process to the very last bite. Remember, patience is key here. The longer you marinate, the more flavor you get. Now, let's bring these flavors to life. Our goat meat has been marinating and absorbing all those rich Jamaican spices. The first technique we'll use is browning the meat. This is not just for color, but for flavor too. As the meat browns, it develops what chefs call a fond, a layer of caramelized goodness at the bottom of the pan that adds depth of flavor to our curry. Next, we saute the aromatics. Here's a tip to remember. Always start with the ingredient that takes the longest to cook. In this case, it's the onions. Saute them until they're golden brown and then add the garlic. We don't want to burn the garlic, just lightly toast it to release its aroma. Our next technique is deglazing. All that fond we created while browning the meat is like gold. To incorporate it into our curry, we'll add a splash of liquid, in this case, coconut milk, and scrape the bottom of the pan. This lifts those caramelized bits and infuses our sauce with an even deeper flavor. 
Now, it's time to add our marinated goat meat back into the pan, along with the rest of the coconut milk. We're going to let this simmer on a low heat. Simmering is a technique that gently cooks our meat, making it tender and allowing all the flavors to meld together. Here's another tip. Don't rush the simmering process. It's tempting to crank up the heat to speed things up, but slow and steady wins the race when it comes to flavorful and tender curry goat. Give it time to bubble away gently. You'll be rewarded with a curry that's rich in flavor and with meat that's so tender, it falls off the bone. Just remember, cooking is an art, but also a science. Mastering these techniques and understanding why we use them will take your cooking from good to great. And there you have it, a pot full of Jamaican goodness simmering away. The moment of truth has arrived. After all the preparation, the marinating, the slow cooking, and the careful presentation, it's time to experience the flavor explosion that is Jamaican curry goat. The first bite is always the most exciting. The anticipation, the curiosity, the promise of a culinary adventure. As I take the first forkful, the meat, tender and juicy from the slow cooking, just melts in my mouth. The punch of the curry, the kick from the scotch bonnet pepper, and the subtle sweetness from the coconut milk blend together to create a symphony of flavors that is hard to describe. It's a dance of spice, heat, and richness that is truly unique to Jamaican cuisine. There's something incredibly nostalgic about this dish. It reminds me of my first trip to Jamaica, the bustling markets, the vibrant colors, and the warm, inviting smells of street food. It was there I first tasted curry goat, served on a simple plate under the tropical sun. It was love at first bite. Every mouthful of this curry goat is a celebration of Jamaican culture, their love for food, and their tradition of communal eating. It's hearty, it's comforting, and it's a dish that truly embodies the spirit of Jamaica. Every bite takes you on a journey to the heart of Jamaica. Now that you've witnessed the magic of Jamaican curry goat, it's time to create your own. Imagine the savory aroma wafting through your kitchen as you simmer the tender goat meat in a rich blend of spices. Picture the golden curry bubbling away on your stovetop, the coconut milk lending it a creamy texture that's absolutely irresistible. And when you finally take that first bite, oh, the explosion of flavors. It's a culinary journey that's well worth embarking on. But why stop at Jamaican curry goat? The world of cooking is vast and filled with countless mouth-watering dishes just waiting to be discovered. That's why I urge you to hit that subscribe button right now. Yes, right now. We've got a whole host of delicious recipes lined up for you, from the far-flung corners of the globe to your grandma's favorite comfort food. And who knows, you might even stumble upon your next go-to dish. And don't forget to hit that share button too. Spread the love for this Jamaican delicacy. Encourage your friends and family to try their hand at this recipe. After all, good food is meant to be shared, right? We also want to hear from you. Have you tried making Jamaican curry goat before? What was your experience like? Or perhaps you've tasted it at a restaurant or during a trip to Jamaica. Whatever your story is, we're all ears. So go ahead and leave a comment below. Share your culinary adventures, your tips, your questions. This is a community and we're all here to learn from each other. Remember, cooking is an adventure and all the good cooking is for us to enjoy the food and to be healthy. All those spices and many ingredients add to our good health. So, put on your apron and let's explore the world of flavors together. Until next time, happy cooking. Remember to subscribe, comment, and share.